This video will cover the drawing tools in DesignWorks software. It's going to serve just as an introduction to the drawing tools. Later videos will go into greater detail about how each of these tools would be used to draw objects. First, we're going to work our way through the wizard and select New Graphic. Now, normally we would select from file and bring in a picture in the background to trace over. But um, because we're just going to focus on how each of these drawing tools is used, we're going to select New Graphic to get a blank design screen. The software has three drawing tools that are located about midway through your toolbars. We have the Create Freehand Shape, the Create Bezier Shape, and the Create Outline Shape. And each of these tools have a few things in common, and that's what we're going to discuss during this video. Remember to use the Help key if you want to find out further information in the manual about how each of these tools would be used. So let's talk first of all about what these tools have in common. And one of these common concepts is that left clicks are going to create lines. So as I'm forming my line, it's made all with left clicks. A right click will end the line. And regardless of the type of tool I'm using, I'm going to make that line with left clicks and end it with right clicks. And you'll see that each type of tool will make a slightly different type of line. But left clicks create the line, right clicks end the line. The second common concept is that to draw an enclosed shape, the last click has to be placed on the first click. So I'll start with the create freehand shape. And if I want to create a shape, I have to come back and click on that first click and the shape will enclose. Whether I'm talking about the Create Freehand or the Create Bezier shape, in order to get that shape to fill in, I have to click on that first click. And the last tool, the Create Outline, is just the same. The shape fills in when the first click is placed on the last click. Now, with all your components activated in DesignWorks software, when you make an enclosed shape, it gives you a painted fill and a stitched outline. When you're creating just a line, the software creates a stitched line, and that is the default with a line. The third common concept, again, regardless of the type of drawing tool you use, um, Right-clicking will end the line, but when I'm making two objects, I'll do left clicks to draw the line, a right click to end the line, and if I come over and make another object and right click, when I select those objects, they will be grouped. So in order to apply different properties to two, these two lines, I have to right click and break the lines apart. I can then select each one individually and apply different properties in object properties. Now I can also do this as I am creating those lines if I right click twice. So I'll create my line with left clicks right click and right click again and you can see that it selects that object so it's ending that object totally before I begin a new object and now when I select each of those objects they're actually individual objects and do not have to be broken apart so you have two ways of doing this, either breaking them apart after you create the object or right-clicking twice after, each, um, after drawing each object, and that will create your two separate objects. The fourth common concept is that as you're creating a line with your left clicks, 
If you make a mistake, you can use the backspace key and the backspace key will erase one click or one node at a time. So that is another common concept. And the final common concept is that there are special keys that can be used with each of the drawing tools. And these tools will work basically, or these keys will work basically in the same way. If I hold down the control key as I'm drawing an object, you can see those diagonal lines forming. And as I am shaping my object, the node will snap to one of those control points. Another key that can be used is the Alt key. And when I am creating an object and holding down the Alt key, you can see the horizontal and vertical lines that become visible. And now the line that I'm drawing will snap to that horizontal and vertical intersection. This is the case regardless of the drawing tool. Now, in order for the Alt key to work, the grid has to be checked in the View menu. So go to View and make sure that there's a check mark by Grid, and then the Alt key will work in this way. Now, the Shift key has some slightly different uses, and we will investigate the effect of the Shift key when we talk about each of the drawing tools in more detail. So the freehand tool, the Bezier tool, and the outline tool draw slightly different objects. One thing that I like about the Create Freehand tool is just you can click and drag and form any kind of shape by dragging over the design screen. I like to use the Bezier shape to create straight lines. So if I'm drawing a straight line and hold down the Control key, it's very easy to create a nice straight line. Again, right-clicking to end that line. And the Outline tool is one of my favorite drawing tools because it's really easy to draw curved shapes point by point, and again, enclosing that shape by clicking on the last node. In future videos, we'll talk about the specifics for each of the drawing tools.